I'll tell you later. But I want to know now. No, that's not fair. Mommy, are we there yet? Oh, not yet, honey. We still have a long way to drive. Because look at us. Here we are driving. How about now? No, honey. Now? Nope. Now? No. <laughs> Mommy? Yes, honey? What's your gigabyte? <laughs> Where did you hear that word? Kids at school. Well, honey, it's a uh, unit of measurement used to describe a data quantity. <laughs> so one gigabyte is, is roughly equal to a billion bytes. Mommy, what's a byte? It's like a baby megabyte. Mommy, where do baby megabytes come from? Oh, wow. Um. <clears throat> Why don't you take a nap, sweetie? This is kind of an adult concept. But I want to know now. Okay. Well, um, once upon a time in 1992, Apple Macintosh made a very special computer. You know, it was special not only because it was portable, but because you could expand to eight whole megabytes of RAM. That was a lot back then. That was a lot back then. Hello everybody! Kip Milo from CrunchyTech.com where we review the hottest products to make their way to your desktop. <laughs> In this case, your lap. <laughs> well folks, 1992 is a good year for computers and here's why. The Macintosh PowerBook 145. This sleek, innovative Macintosh fits easily inside a briefcase. And with an optional modem, you can even send the ever-emerging, what's that folks, yes you guessed it, electronic mail. An integrated trackball palm rest makes it easy for you to work with the computer on your lap. So if you're looking for that perfect, flexible computer solution, look no further than the Apple Macintosh PowerBook 145. And so just like the Apple Macintosh PowerBook came before the MacBook Pro, the Megabyte came before the Gigabyte. Sleep well, sweetie. Mommy? Yes, honey? Where do babies come from? Huh? 